Hi guys, welcome back again to yet another amazing episode. My name is Robi Masaga. For those who don't know me, yeah, I believe some of you don't know my name. Now you know. Yeah, so today I want us to talk about hygiene. I've seen that some white people, and I'm using some because I know it's not all of them, some white people are bragging about how they don't encourage their kids to shower. And I'm here wondering what if some black people came out and bragged about the same what you what would you guys say because some of you believe that we are black people black people are the way they are because of because they are dirty because they don't they don't shower so how do you feel if we came out and bragged about the same well before I even talk much let's watch this let me know what you think let me know if you agree with the ladies with whatever that the, the lady is saying yeah let me know if you agree with her statement on the comment section yeah so let's watch then we continue and also remember to subscribe if you've not subscribed remember to like and also share this video for more people to see yeah so let's watch my children probably bathe maybe once a week can you talk maybe. to him about and this? they and when they don't use I Michael's, mean, you know, Michael's a fourth Japanese. He thinks time, they have to bathe every day. Can you One time we had somebody on and they were talking about this and when well, the clip went viral and they said we were abusing people. I was like, "Oh lord." They said something about privilege too. I was like, "What? Well, I, I, I didn't no, know how that I works." Said what were they that doing? I didn't I did delayed bathing with both my kids. After they were yes, born. that's because why would you need to why are they dirty uh, talk to us about how you only bathe your kids once a week i want to know more about that well first off i just let my kids do what they want to do i have four children i'm not going to fight with my kids over little stupid things like bathing Agreed. like Agreed. what's the age gap just, again almost 10 7 5 and 2 Woo, <laughs> you're in it yeah. so so like so you don't make them bathe Every day, you'll just do when they want to once a week. If it's once a week, you know, like now they swim. So they swim. We have a pool and they swim in the summer. So I guess we call that bathing. So it's probably even less than that, you know. But no, we tell it like our kids have autonomy over their bodies and their rooms, assuming, you know, and they can make all the choices around that, assuming they're safe. Take a deep breath. Breathe. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. I'm 100% black. And I also think they should bathe every day. I did delayed bathing with both my kids. After they were yes, born. that's because why would you need to? Why are they dirty? Why are children children dirty? Have you met a children? <laughs> uh, talk to us about how you only bathe your kids once a week. I want to know more about that. Well, first off, I just let my kids do what they want to do. I have four children. I'm not going to fight with my kids over little stupid things like bathe. So you just let them children do whatever they want to do. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And you wonder why they... What's the age gap again? Almost 10, 7, 5, and 2. Woo, oh. You're in it. Yeah. So, so, like, so you don't make them bathe every day. You'll just do when they want to once a week. If it's once a week, you know, like now they swim. So they swim. We have a pool and they swim in the summer. So I guess we call that bathing. No, no. You call that swimming. When you go swimming, you just got wet. You are not clean. You'd be musty in and musty out. If they ain't got no soap... And washcloth under them underarms and in the nether regions, they go be stanking 10 years. You know what? See, and that's why there's some stereotypes. So it's probably even less than that, you know, but no, we tell it like our kids have autonomy over their bodies. White people who are watching, I'm talking to y'all. Black people, y'all are exempt from this next thing. Don't, don't y'all be embarrassed. Do y'all, do y'all not be embarrassed when you hear stuff like this? Because in the black community, as a communal thing, hygiene and smell is really important to us and not all that there. But don't, you know, you don't want to be the parents of the musty kid. You definitely don't want to be the, the musty person. But after a certain age, you be like, you know, tell them kids be musty. You don't even want to be that parent. Do y'all not have those conversations over the green bean casserole? Because in our community, mustiness is a big problem and people will, you'll be musty forever. That's, does that not happen in y for y'all's? Well, remember earlier how some of them were busy bragging about how they don't use a washcloth and how they laughed about they laughed at black people when they say that uh, when black when majority of black people came out and said they they use a washcloth. This this one does not come as a surprise because if you can come out publicly and say how you don't use a washcloth, then clearly it's it's like you people are okay being dirty. You're okay with that around you. How would you not encourage your kid to shower? Because I'm trying to think about the act, uh, uh, about act, the activities, the kind of activities that these kids do during the day, 
and you don't encourage them to shower? Why would you neglect your own kids, then come out, brag about it as though it's something funny for people to laugh about? These are your kids. Or like the lady said, those kids are between the age of, uh, her kids are between the age of 5 to around 10 there. She, do, she does not encourage them to clean up. Yeah, these are, are very young kids who are still under her care. They need her guidance. Then you don't allow them. You don't tell them on our, you don't even talk to them about cleanliness. Yeah, and you're here bragging about it as though it's something that people should, you know, applaud you for it, clap, uh, clap for you for not uh, uh, teaching your kids about about hygiene. These are very young kids and you want them to come back home after they went out to play, after collecting all that dirt, you want them to go and sleep just like that. So according to this lady, she was saying she can't force or she can't fight her kids because of petty things like showering. You can't teach your kids about hygiene. You, you can't tell them the importance of going to the bathroom and cleaning, up, cleaning themselves up. You're saying by you forcing, by you telling them about it, it's like fighting with them. Who do you want to come and teach your kids about hygiene? Just who do you want to do that work? It's you. You are the parent. God gave you those kids. You're the one who should sit them down and tell tell them uh, the importance of cleaning themselves after they come out from school, from, from wherever. They need to learn on how to clean themselves. You know, some things... When we grow up, how we act, it's according to how we were taught. You don't expect any, any good from them if you can't teach them when they're still young. When these kids go to play, when they go to social places, yeah, when they go to play with their peers, just imagine uh, how many times they've been in contact with their peers, skin to skin contact. The kind of infection, skin infection they collect from, from, uh, from their fellow kids or friends yeah and this lady surprisingly this lady she's in healthcare she should be the one who should be telling people the importance of hygiene but she's here telling us how it's not important to shower it's not important to clean yourself who should come out here and tell us about hygiene if she's the one who's telling us the very opposite let me ask a very innocent question do you guys love that because the things you brag about, remember when we were discussing about washcloths, some of you said they can never, they would never use a washcloth. And, and even some of you went ahead and said they, they, they wash their butts with their bare hand. Imagine you washing your butt with your bare hand. You've gone to the toilet for a long call. So, uh, for us girls, you know what happens? Do you, uh, uh, you, you know what happens every month? Yeah, you go and wash yourself with your bare hands, and you feel like you're clean. You feel like you're clean enough. And these are the things that we want to teach our kids. Remember, kids do sweat as well. Yeah. So when they go to play, and you want them to come back home with that sweat. And you want them to jump on their beds and sleep just it's like nothing happened during the day they do sweat yeah and they're very active they're very energetic so they use a lot of energy when they're playing they sweat a lot and you want them to go to sleep just like that kids go to the toilet after every five minutes they run to the toilet whether it's short call or long call they go to the toilet every minute and like I said, they still don't know how to wipe themselves. They, did, they still don't know how to clean themselves. Now I'm here trying to imagine if these are the things that you come and say publicly, how do your houses look like? Are you even clean in your own houses? How do you prepare your food? Is your food clean enough for anyone to eat? If this is what you come out and say, I'm, tr I'm trying to just imagine how you people live it's very shocking to hear something like this coming out from someone who works in healthcare. It's very shocking. Anyway, guys, what do you think? What do you think about this? I might be here ranting and maybe that is your way of living, yeah? I don't know. Maybe it's your way. Maybe that is how you raise your kids. Maybe that is how you're brought up. Let me know in the comment section because I've never interacted with, uh, with you guys. Uh, well, I've interacted with some, 
pub on the public space but have never like one on one lived with someone and uh learned their way of living i've never so unless you tell me on the comment section tell me let me know is uh, is it okay to just uh not encourage your kids to uh, to clean up or do you think that kids should be taught uh, about hygiene and how to clean themselves yeah let me know guys on the comment section and uh we meet on the next episode yeah